Have you ever wondered how you would react in the face of a natural disaster? The power and unpredictability of nature can be awe-inspiring and terrifying. Hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, wildfires, they all hold a formidable might that can strike at any moment. This inherent uncertainty makes it all the more crucial to be prepared. To understand these forces is to respect them, and to respect them is to arm oneself with knowledge. Remember, when confronting the unpredictable fury of nature, preparation is key when dealing with the wrath of nature. Knowledge is power, and in disasters it can be the difference between life and death. Now, let's touch base on the first and foremost step towards safety. Preparation. An emergency kit is not just a box of supplies, it's a lifeline. It should contain essentials like water, food, medical supplies and important documents. But it's not just about having the right tools, it's about knowing how to use them. So, create a family plan, discuss where to go, how to get there, and what to do in different types of emergencies. Stay informed about potential threats. Understand your local evacuation routes. Have a contact list of emergency services and keep them handy. It's about being proactive, not reactive. In the face of the unknown, it's easy to feel helpless, but with preparation we can gain control, we can make ourselves resilient. Remember, a good plan today can save your life tomorrow. Imagine a disaster has struck. What do you do? Your heart is pounding, adrenaline surges through your veins. This is not the time for panic, but rather the time for action. The first step is to stay calm. Your brain is your greatest asset during a crisis. By maintaining your composure, you're better able to make quick, rational decisions. Next comes the plan. Remember the preparation we discussed earlier? Now is the time to put it into play. Review the plan in your head, or if time allows, pull out your physical copy. It's your roadmap to safety, guiding your steps amidst the chaos. Listening to local authorities and news sources is crucial. They have accurate, up-to-the-minute information about the situation. They can guide you on when to stay put and when it's time to evacuate. Their instructions are not suggestions, but life-saving directives. Evacuation, if necessary, should be swift and orderly. Grab your emergency kit, ensure everyone is accounted for, and move towards safety. Staying away from danger zones is vital. If it's a flood, avoid low-lying areas. If it's an earthquake, stay clear of buildings that could collapse. These zones are not just hazardous, they're potentially deadly. In the face of disaster, your actions can dictate your survival. Remember, it's not the disaster that defines the outcome, but how you respond to it. To wrap things up, let's revisit the key points. The unpredictability of nature underscores the importance of preparation. It's vital to have a plan in place before disaster strikes. This plan should include a safe meeting place, an emergency contact list, and provisions to sustain you and your loved ones for at least 72 hours. Furthermore, understanding how to act during a disaster can significantly increase your chances of survival. Remember, it's not about being a hero. It's about staying safe and ensuring the safety of those around you. Don't keep this information to yourself. Share it with your loved ones, your community. Spread the knowledge because in the face of a natural disaster, the more prepared individuals there are, the better the chances of survival for everyone. Remember, in the face of a natural disaster, knowledge and preparation are your best allies. Stay safe and prepared.